Welcome to Leet Wine TV. I am your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. Did I, well, I did. It's kind of right. Okay, so um, doing four reviews today, and uh, so let's just get started with the first one. Four separate videos. Four, four, not five. Five dollar. Okay, so um, let's just get started here. So um, we are going to start with the 2006 uh, Clos de Allais. Uh, Muscat et Serve et Man. I think I got it right. This is a $14.99 at Gabriel's. Uh, this is from uh, the Louis Dresner uh, group. Now they do a bunch of different wines, um, or they import, export, whatever, a bunch of different wines from around Europe. Uh, a lot of it in France, Italy, Spain, Portugal. I think they do. Some from Germany, not positive. Um, I got the little fact sheet about this producer. Um, so this is um, Muscadet from uh, Domaine uh, Luno Papin. Um, okay, so this is uh, this is in the Muscadet part of the Loire Valley. All right, now this is not Muscat. This is not Moscato. This is a uh, Melon de Bourgogne uh, grape. Uh, but it's commonly called Muscadet, and uh, it's a dry white wine. So let's check it out. I'm really excited about this one. I right, um oh also where this part of the Loire Valley is is right up on the Atlantic coast. So we're talking the the most west the western part of uh, Loire and Sevre uh, et Man. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, is one of the appellations within the Muscadet part of Loire. So despite that the, the uh, or probably in reference to the fact that this is the Melon de Bourgogne varietal, I do get uh, some melon type um, Aromas on the nose. But it's very light. It's not very overpowering. There's not a lot of, you know, not, it's not really hitting you. But um, I kind of anticipate it being fairly acidic. So let's see how it tastes. This is my first experience with this varietal. Um, it's definitely dry. Um, don't get much on it. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, this is, uh, most of the wines from this area are going to be on Sur Lee, which is on Lees, which is the yeast. So what happens is the wine sits on the, the Lees or the dead yeast cells for a while, and that's supposed to give it character. Because uh, the Muscadet varietal, well, in and of itself, doesn't really have much. They, they kind of call it a neutral grape. So, to give it the character, it has to rest on its lees. I forgot to mention that. was very important because the reason I mention that is um, the wine itself, I don't get much out of it. It's not unpleasant. It's not bad. It's kind of a bit of... How do I put it? Not bitterness, though there's a little bit of bitterness. And not like bitterness like 
make your face pucker up. But um, just some bitterness to it that, I don't know. I think you definitely need some food with this wine. This is wine that's not going to stand up on its own. Um, it's probably really going to be an accompaniment to food. Not going to like really... I think it'll help the it'll help enhance, say, some cheeses, but it's not going to um, it's not going to rock your world. For fifteen bucks, I wouldn't buy it again. Um, and no offense, I mean, the the write up that these guys or or the the thing about uh, Louis Dresner uh, and what they talk about and how what they what their what their goals are is it's great. Um, hand harvested. Um, they have fanatical growers. Uh, so, it's, I don't know, let, let, let's see, uh, intense herbal nose, spicy character, strong structure, and chewy fruit, I, I don't really get really any of that, it made me a little bit of spice, I don't know, I, it doesn't do anything for me, and I'm really disappointed, um, 75. This sucks because I really would, was hoping to really, really enjoy this wine. It could be, it could just need to be opened up a little more. I am drinking at room temperature, so, you know, but it's just, just really nothing to it. Kind of a bummer. It smelled nice when I opened it. I don't know, it smells better out of the bottle than out of the glass. Anyway, all right, so um, tonight, uh, hopefully this will, well, I know this will be before I leave the house. Uh, I'll be wearing this at the San Antonio Wine Festival uh, tasting. So um, if you're seeing this before you head out, which is probably highly doubtful, um, look for me. I'll be wearing my 1337 wine t-shirt, tasting some good wine, uh, at least hopefully some, some good wine. Uh, and I forgot to bring the newspaper thing, but it was the big thing in the newspaper, listed all the wines. I'm going to be studying that a little more, going to figure out exactly which wines I want to target because I think you only get 20 tickets so you only have 20 wines you can taste uh, then you can buy more I think but I'm hoping that uh, I'll know some people there let's we'll just put it that way um, and uh, when you do just a, just a little thing about when you go to these wine tastings especially when you know you're gonna have like a hundred wines or 200 wines out there don't drink the wine spit Trust me on this one, because if you don't spit, things get really ugly really quickly if you drink all the wine. Luckily, they have the tickets, so that helps control how much wine you're going to drink, um, depending on the pours, which these guys last year, KLRN's volunteers, gave really healthy pours. No wonder they ran out of wine so quickly. Um, I mean by healthy pour, like you're getting like a two-ounce pour. You should only get about a one-ounce pour. Really, actually, the pours are very similar to what I pour for, for the show. Um, but you should only get about a one to one and a half ounce pour. Uh, they were doing two ounce or more last year. and So you do 20 of those, that's like 10 glasses of wine. Almost. And that's a lot to be drinking in a couple hours. So um, anyway, I'm going to eat before I go. You know there's going to be food there because I don't want to stay in the line waiting to get some food when I'm really there to drink some wine or taste some wine. And um, anytime you go to these things, please do because you can taste bunches of wine from all over the place. That's going to do it. We'll see everybody again on Wednesday. Friend me up. Buy some stuff. Hook a brother up. PayPal.